subtle and ugh, uh, into they to replace all of my stuff with a CG character that was like, you know. Uh, so I, I'm not in the movie anymore, even though I still get residual checks, thank goodness. <laughs> but uh, uh, so, so Steve, had, we just worked together recently. He called me up and said, hey, Doug, I'm out to dinner with the director right now. We were just talking about you. Uh, 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 and, and so what had happened earlier that day was uh, the, the creature effects team for the Hellboy, uh, first Hellboy movie at, at Spectral Motion had just finished designing the Abe Sapien figure. Uh, they did a maquette, which is a small version of the head-to-toe character. It's a sculpture that they do, just to get an approval before they do the full life-size, you know, body makeup, makeup pieces. And uh, they had just finished the sculpture. Uh, Jose Fernandez, wonderful, beautiful sculptor who uh, did the actual hands-on work. Steve Wang designed it and Mike Elizalde, who owns Special Motion. So the three of them are standing around there, and that was the day that Guillermo del Toro was to come in and have finally approve this final design. Legend has it that he walked into the room and fell to his knees, <laughs> right? And then he said, I am so fat. <laughs> now, I think there's a reason for that. I, I think what he meant was, what a beautiful, long, live, creature this is. I think that's what he was saying. So then the creature effects guys all chimed in and said, you know who's the perfect person to play this is Doug Jones. And that's when Guillermo said, Doug Jones? I know Doug Jones. And he pulled my card out of his wallet five years later. I know. I know. That's a loyal guy. It's a, it's a, it speaks a lot for him. So, uh,